Hello. Well, we'd like to go ahead and try and get FLTK to work on Xcode on Mac OS. I'm currently running the Catalina version of Mac OS, and this is the uh, website for FLTK. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Well, one thing you have to do, uh, we have to do two things first. One's install the command line utilities for Xcode, and the second is to install Homebrew. So we can open up a terminal, <coughs> and uh, in order to install the command line tools for Xcode, we can run the command xcode-select-install. And so when we do this, it'll bring up a pop-up menu. Um, if you haven't already installed it, I have already installed it, um, but you can it'll install the command line tools and that enables you to run, say, the C++ compiler uh, with the terminal. Uh, the next thing we need to do is install Homebrew. And Homebrew is a package manager for Mac OS. In other words, it will install packages <coughs> Um, designed to run on Mac OS, such as uh, the library here is, is uh, FLTK is a, a cross-platform library. It can run on Windows, Mac, Linux, and so on. Um, but in order to install that, <coughs> uh, we need to install Homebrew. So we can uh, copy and paste this command here. It's a Ruby uh, script that will, um, uh, this basically command will use, uh, will grab this uh, install script online and then run it on your computer. So uh, we go back to terminal and we can paste this in here and it'll download the installer and go ahead and start the install process. Now if you already installed it, um, uh, which I already have, you know, we, you just press enter and it'll install the command brew. Uh, it's possible you may need to restart your computer after that, but um, once you've done that, uh, we can go ahead and, and uh, install FLTK then by typing brew install FLTK. And so when <coughs> when I run this command, it'll uh, uh, update the homebrew software if necessary, and then <coughs> download and install. So I've already installed FLTK, so I'm already fine. Now the location that install this, uh, installs this is in the uh, slash user slash local um, slash lib directory, uh, and the include directory. These are standard Unix uh, paths for storing uh, additional header files and library files. So we're going to need to add these paths to our Xcode project. So let's go ahead and create an Xcode project. So over here I'm going to click on create a new Xcode project <coughs> and I would like to do a command line tool. So we're going to click next after we've chosen command line tool, and I'm going to call this FLTK example dash Mac OS. And we want to make sure that C++ is the language that we're using. So let me click on next. And over here, I'm going to navigate to my GitHub folder. So um, this is a repository I used to put some examples in. So we'll create <coughs> our project. And uh, what should come up um, is the properties page for the project. And we need to go ahead and, and set up a few options. So first, we're going to go to build settings. And I'm going to use a little search window here and search for uh, uh, search, which we'll see two uh, items here, header search pass and library search pass. So if I double click on this um, menu, uh, then <clears throat> Let's see here. <laughs> There's a, a little plus you can't see on this on the screen. We'll click on the plus and it adds a line here. And we're, we're going to type in slash user slash local slash include. And this will allow us to get access to the full tick uh, header files. And once we've done that, we need to add the library. So let's go to general and we'll click the plus over here. <laughs> And uh, it's not, the framework isn't in there, so if we were to type FLTK, you'll notice nothing shows up. But we can click um, Add Other and then Add Files. And uh, when we've done that, it gives us the path to our current project. Now, if I was to uh, back all the way up to the hard drive, uh, you'll notice that I don't see the <coughs> slash user folder that we need to get access to. So I can actually press Shift Command G and this opens up the go to folder um, uh, window that this is a you can use this everywhere in Mac OS it's not just here and uh, you can type in slash user slash local slash lib 
So I'll do that here, slash user, slash local, slash lib, and click go. So when we've done that, <coughs> it will show us a list of all the files in the lib folder, which is where uh, FLTK was installed. So I'm going to look through this list until I find libfltk.dylib. That means it's a dynamic library, and that's what we want. If you pick the dot a it won't work as expected we want the dynamic library instead of the static one <coughs> so uh, i'm going to click open and we will see now that my uh, library has been added to my project and if i go to build settings and i scroll down here to my search pass you'll see here that the fltk library has already been set up in this uh, area all right so now we need to edit some source code so I'm going to go ahead and just clear this out. And if we go to the FLTK website and click on documentation, we can scroll down here to the um, uh, 1.3 HTML. They're still working on 1.4. Um, <coughs> so I'm going to go here to FLTK basics. And they have some source code here we can copy for Hello World. So I'll right click on that and click copy. And then we'll go back here to um, Xcode and paste that in there. So <coughs> once I've saved that, I, I can go ahead and build my uh, project. And we can see it succeeded. And I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, run here. Let's see here. I said it failed. Let's find out why. Let's go ahead and just clean this. I think I did something. OK. OK. So now, now we're running. So it built, it run it, uh, it's running it. And here is my application showing up. So there's my Hello World application. And we can see from the source code that it, it creates a window, uh, 340 by 180 in resolution. And we can create a box inside of it. And we basically add <coughs> uh, the box inside of the uh, the box will be created inside this window we just made, and then we just run the show command and run. All right. So this is uh, how easy it is to get a FLTK working on Mac OS X, and um, that's all I have for this video. Thank you very much.